So I brought my tomato seedlings out of the basement. I had them downstairs under the grow lights and been kind of ignoring them because I'm doing a lot of stuff up here in my garage, starting more things, filming more videos. And I went and had a look at them today and some of them are looking really yellow. So when I checked out Google to see what could be the reason for having yellowing leaves on my tomatoes, it said that usually that is a sign of a deficiency in nutrients, including iron. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you a couple things that I did to help remedy that issue with yellowing leaves. And you are gonna be absolutely amazed at the results. So stick around and I will show you how to deal with yellowing leaves on your tomatoes. So if you've been following along on my channel and watch some of my previous videos on how I like to start my tomatoes, I like to use this solo cup method. I call it the one cup method where I directly put my tomato seedlings right into this large cup like this. You can also use a three inch or a four inch pot. And I never worry about having to transplant these seedlings into bigger containers because they're already in a nice large container here. So one of the other tricks to this method is to only fill it up about halfway when you are starting the seedlings. And then once they have grown up above the rim of the cup here, like this one here, what we're gonna do today is just remove any of the leaves that are still on the stems here below the line here. We're gonna fill it up with some more potting soil and all these little tiny hairs that you see here on the stem of the tomato are gonna form roots and we're gonna have a really nice strong tomato plant by the time they're ready to go outdoors. So some of these aren't too high yet, but I'm gonna still top them up because they look like they're getting a little deficient and need some more nutrients. So some of them I might just add a little bit of potting soil and then maybe have to top it up again later once they get a little bit taller. Depending on the variety, um, we have different sizes and growth on the plants. These indeterminate cherry ones seem to be growing a little bit faster. So I'm going to have these out here in the garage facing this uh, east-south type window. So they're going to be getting a lot of direct sunlight early in the morning till mid-afternoon. I think that's going to make these plants a lot happier. So I'm just going to start topping it off with some more of this potting soil. This is just some miracle Grow that contains some NPK, which will help feed these tomatoes a little bit better. So here in my cold climate, I'm in zone three here, Saskatchewan, and our last frost date is usually around mid-May, third week of May. I always find with tomatoes and peppers because they're pretty delicate and they really don't like cold, cold snaps, which we can get sometimes at the end of May. I usually hold off planting these into my outdoor garden sometimes till the you know first of June, depending on how warm of spring season that we are having but I just find it's just uh, better to be safe than sorry because I have lost all of my tomatoes and peppers in the past. Um, sometimes when we get like a cold snap at the end of May and a, a light frost comes through and these delicate plants like the tomatoes, peppers, do not fare too well if you don't have them protected. Okay, so we have topped up all these tomato plants now with some potting soils. You can see here, I pulled away all the tiny little leaves from the lower part of the stems here and filled them up as much as I can today. And that will help develop some more roots in these tomatoes. And so to help with maybe that iron deficiency or other nutrient deficiency in tomatoes, I'm gonna give it a treatment here with this Cali Magic from General Hydroponics. And I use this indoors all the time for my indoor growing in the winter time in my hydroponics. I use it to feed my, my indoor tomatoes, my cucumbers, my peppers. It's always just one of those ingredients that I always add into my nutrient mix. So this is going to give it, of course, the calcium, the magnesium, along with a few other nutrients, including iron. So hopefully today we're just gonna water these in with 
some rainwater that's got some of this Cali magic in it and hopefully we will see you know in the week or so that uh, that yellowing is going away and these plants um, get stronger. So it does recommend one teaspoon per gallon. I've mixed it up a little bit weaker. I don't want to over fertilize them or burn them or do any damage to the roots because they are just delicate little seedlings so it's always better to you know give them less than too much. So having these kind of deficiencies in your tomatoes can you know cause problems obviously when they are out in the garden something that you know frequently happens with tomatoes is blossom end rot which they say is lack of calcium so you want to make sure that your tomato plants are able to absorb as much calcium as they can while they're growing so that they uh, hopefully don't develop that disease later on so I normally am a bottom waterer, but I'm just kind of wanting to get this potting soil moistened because it was pretty dry. I didn't moisten it before I put it in. So we're going to do the top watering method here right now. But usually every couple days when it's time to water, I will just bottom water into the bottom of the tray. I'm sure these tomatoes are going to be way happier out here getting the natural sunlight for the next month or so. Also just throw some in the bottom here. It can wick it up from the bottom as well. Get to those roots. So I will keep fertilizing these weekly and all my seedlings. What I usually use is a concentrated fish fertilizer such as this one here. I believe I picked this one up at Canadian Tire if you live in Canada. I will leave a link in the description box below to uh, a variety that you can pick up on Amazon as well. So I think these tomatoes are going to be super happy out here getting the sun every day and we'll check back in a few days to see if we see any improvement in the yellowing on the leaves. One week later and we are back out in my garage and it is another beautiful sunny morning so all my little seedlings here are so happy. So in a previous video I had started a bunch of my companion flowers for my outdoor garden space and as you can see the sunflowers, zinnias, cosmos are already coming through. I got lots of portulaca and coleuses, petunias coming here as well. So I just want to show you again what my tomato plants look like last week just so you can see the amazing transformation that they have made in just a week and just from you know getting a new batch of potting soil added and some extra fertilizer given to them so here are my tomatoes this week I think it's only been six days I can't believe when I look at last week's video how much these things have grown and they are so green and so healthy looking so they're growing nice and tall after adding in that extra soil, giving them a little more stability, some more nutrients. These tomatoes are really starting to stretch out nicely. They got lots of healthy leaves on them. They're going to be here in my garage probably for another few weeks before I start hardening them off. But like I say, I'm really happy with how they are looking now. So I think, you know, if you ever see that your seedlings are getting that yellow look, you know, don't panic. I think just it's just a sign that these are hungry for some more nutrients. So just top them up with some extra potting soil if you need. Give them some fish fertilizer, you know, every couple weeks. And you should probably end up with healthy tomato seedlings uh, that are going to be wonderful out in your garden this season. So I'll leave a link again to the fish fertilizer and some Cali Magic in the description box below so you can check those products out. So today I've mixed up another batch of rainwater with a little bit of fish fertilizer. Everything's going to get a nice feeding here. So that's basically all I'm going to be doing for the next couple weeks is just keeping these well watered. And you want to make sure you give your plants a little turn every couple days so that they grow straight and strong. So I hope you enjoyed this video and, and found some of these tips helpful if you are having any issues with yellowing in your tomato plants. I think these 
few things that I showed you today should help that problem. So please hit that like button and leave a comment and subscribe so that you don't miss out on more videos coming to the channel. Thank you for watching.